Hey everyone, so this is going to be a test to see how long it takes to fully charge three different small smartphones. So on the left here I have the iPhone 5S, the iPhone SE, and the Xperia Z5 Compact. Uh, and I'll be using the chargers, uh, the cables, and the wall adapters that came with all these smartphones. So go ahead and start with the iPhone SE and the Xperia Z5 Compact. So it's going to plug in the iPhone SE first. Now for the Z5 Compact. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Alright, and now for the iPhone 5S. Alright everyone, so I got all three smartphones plugged in. Uh, and I'm going to check in at the 15 minute mark. Alright guys, so we are approaching the 15 minute mark here. And since on the iPhone uh, SE we can't see what the battery life percentage with the phone off, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And then I'm also going to turn on the Z5 Compact just to keep things even. And finally I'll turn on the iPhone 5S. Actually it looks like we can't turn that on yet, so I'll have to do that at the 30 minute mark. Alright, so we got the iPhone SE at 16%. The Z5 Compact at 20%. Alright, so 30 minutes in now. Let's go ahead and check in on the phones. So the SE is at 29%. And the Z5 Compact is at 35%. Alright, so the Z5 Compact still has a lead. Uh, let's go ahead and check in on the 5S. Alright, so the 5S is at 12%. Alright, so obviously it's a little surprising how far back it is. Uh, I will say that all three of these phones were at a point where you couldn't power them on. Uh, the battery was so depleted that you couldn't power the battery on for any of them. Uh, but the 5S was even more depleted in the sense that the screen wouldn't even turn on. So uh, for the SC, it would still show like, uh, when you try to turn on, it will show like the battery error message showing you that out of battery. Uh, with the 5S, it wouldn't even turn, like nothing on the screen would turn on. Uh, so I think for that reason, we should maybe give this like a 10, 15 minute leeway period. But yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so here we are coming up on one hour. The SC is at, wait for it to focus, uh, 60%. And the Z5 Compact. 72%. So still holding that lead. Let's go check in on the 5S. And 41% for the 5S. One hour and a half in right now. And the SE. 83%. Z5 Compact. 95%. Alright, so almost on the Z5 Compact. And the 5S is at 70%. Alright, so you guys just saw it 100% for the Z5 Compact. And that is at 1 hour 50 minutes. So just gonna make a lap there. Uh, and now let's check in on the SE just for reference. 94%, so expect this should be done in around 10 minutes. Uh, very impressive for the Z5 Compact, considering it has by far the largest battery, uh, and I'll get to that in a minute. Alright guys, so this last 10% uh, or so is taking a pretty long time for the SC. Uh, see, we're still at 99% at 2.5 hours in, and I'll let you know when we hit 100%. Alright, so we are now at 100% for the iPhone SE, uh, and that was at 2 hours, 33 minutes, and 46 seconds, uh, so 43 minutes longer than the Z5 Compact, and the uh, 5S is almost done, so once that's done, I'll provide an update. Alright, so we're just waiting for the iPhone 5S to finish up. Uh, should be any second here. Nope, there we go, 100%. 2 hours, 50 minutes, make a lap. Uh, so that is... 17, oh, wait for it to focus, 
uh, 17 uh, minutes worse than the iPhone SE. Uh, but keep in mind, as I mentioned at the beginning, so with the Z5 Compact and the iPhone SE, uh, when you tried powering them on, I'll just give an example with the Z3 Compact, you got a message like this, meaning that you can't uh, turn it on. Now for the iPhone 5S, when you try to turn it on, when you hold down the power button, uh, the screen was just completely black. You wouldn't get anything, not even a message that the battery was out. Uh, so for that reason, I think that we should give the uh, 5S around 10-15 minute leeway period. So around 17 minutes um, after the SE. So I think that they're pretty even. Alright everyone, so that's it for the test. Uh, the Z5 Compact won pretty easily, beat the SE by 43 minutes. Uh, so again, with the iPhone 5S, the iPhone SE, they're using the lightning cables and they're using the lightning cable and the wall adapter that's shipped with the phones. Um, the same is true with the Xperia Z5 Compact. Uh, it's using the micro USB cable and the wall adapter that's shipped with it. And that is Quick Charge 2.0 compatible. This is a Quick Charge 2.0 phone. Uh, for these two, they're not Quick Charge compatible. Now it is possible with the SE, for example, uh, if you use a different wall adapter, uh, like the wall adapter that shipped with some of the newer phones, some of the newer iPads, that it would be faster, but I can't confirm that. Uh, again, this is just the test using the ones that shipped in the boxes with these phones. So now just in terms of battery size, uh, the iPhone 5S is the smallest at 1560. The SE is a little bit larger at 1624. And the Z5 Compact easily beats them with the largest battery at 2700. Uh, so again, that makes it even more impressive that the Z5 Compact beat the SE by 43 minutes. Uh, so yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Um, we have a lot more videos like this in the future, so please subscribe if you aren't already. And thanks for watching.